So in the last video I showed you guys how to create movement and camera controls for your game in Unity. In this video I like to add a jump. For simplicity's sake I chose to delete the code from the last video about movement. If you want to see that code go ahead and watch my other video about movement in Unity. What I'll start by doing is create a serialized field and I'd like to use something called input actions. So I'll use the input action called jump. If you can't find the input action for some reason it may be because you're missing the using Unity engine that input system. We also need to calculate how high our jump should be. So for this we'll create a serialized float we'll call it jump force set it to 5f for now we also need to calculate the gravity so we'll need a rigid body let's just call it rb now we need to create the start method it might already be in your script if you're creating a new script from scratch and here we'll set the rb to get component we need the rigid body and then we will need to enable our input action to actually be used in game so for this i'll use the on enable method this is also built in into unity i'll call my action jump so jump dot enable and then for the physics calculation we'll use the fixed update so let's just go over what we did until now so we've created our input called jump we've created our jump force how high we'll jump we've created a rigid body and we've instantiated this using the get component and we've enabled our jump and now we'll do the jump calculation so we need to first off to check if the jump input key is pressed if jump dot is pressed now the thing is we don't want to be able to jump midair so we need to check if the object is actually on the ground there's better ways to do this but for now i'll just check the y position of our object to check if it's grounded so if i go into the unity editor i see that is 3.17 my y position it might go up a bit depending on the capsule collider so just to be sure i'll just say 3.4 so if my game object so the game object the script is attached to that transform that position we want the y position so it's that y and if this is less than 3.4 f so if we press a jump and if the player is in contact with the ground then we can do a jump so in here we'll use the rigid body add force we'll type next to three dot up this is just shorthand for just saying positive on the y-axis we need to multiply this with our jump force and then finally we'll add a comma and then use the force mode dot impulse so what this will do is basically just say we'll use a jump force to move upwards on the y-axis we'll use the impulse function so this will create as it says an instant force impulse to the rigid body using its mass this will push it in a direction that we set using our vector 3 so save this and jump back into unity editor if we press play now this won't work so what we need to do first is go to the component we've attached our script to we're using the rigid body so we need to attach a rigid body to the component so as you can see in the player movement script we have a jump force and we have something called jump the input action we've created so click the little plus sign to add a binding add binding on the drop down menu double click this and then we need to create a path you can use the gamepad joystick whatever and you can also find the space key in here but what you can also do which i think is much quicker is press the listen and then press the space key as you can see it checks which key you're pressing and then you can go ahead and choose the space key or whatever key you want so now we actually have all we need so i'll press play so now if i press space it actually jumps and if I try to press space more times, like this while I'm in the air, it actually doesn't jump because it checks from a Y position. As I said, there's better ways to check for the ground position, but I just wanted to focus on the physics of the jump and not that it's grounded. I hope this video taught you something new. If it did, please consider liking or subscribing to my channel. It would help me out massively. And if you want to see all the tutorials in Unity or C Sharp, leave a comment down below and I'll try to create that tutorial for you. Thank you for watching.